All right, so in this video, I'm going to do my best to clarify any confusion that there is regarding the DVD Fab Blu-ray Ripper and what do you need to properly, properly export, export this 3D Blu-ray movie to your hard drive, onto your computer, to side-by-side -side format. Now, the one mistake I made in my previous video was this. This is the most important thing, okay, which I'm going to show you. Obviously, you have to put the disc inside, inside the external uh, Blu-ray player. The Blu-ray player needs to read the disc with the DVD Fab software, which is right over here. This is DVD Fab right over here, 64-bit version 11.0.40. Now, let's do a first step. First thing first, let's uh, close the disc. Let the disc read it. And you're going to see it show up here very shortly. It's going to show up here any minute. It's going to read it. I think you can hear it right now. It's, it's running. All right, so it's going to show up here any minute. You see, it is reading it right now. There it is. It is reading the uh, Transformers Age of the Extinction IMAX 3D. Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray. Now, I'm going to show you the, the most important part that you need to do. Once this is processed. All right, so there it is. It scanned the movie to make sure it's a legal copy and all that good jazz. You can see it right here, Transformers, Age of the Extinction, uh, Blu-ray Disc 3D. Now, here's the important part. If you want this movie to be side by side, this is the most important part you need to do. Don't use MP4. Don't use MP4 file. Go over here and select MKV. You see this right here? Don't use MP4. Forget the MP4. Select MKV. Click on this and select MKV file. Make sure you check mark the 3D and select MKV 3D 6510-bit H.265. Uh, this is the important part. Right here. Click on it. And that's it. Now select high quality. Select the high quality. And then here, you can go and click on the wrench to make sure that you have SBS, okay? Right over here, move the line to make sure that you have SBS. And you can see right here, you have left and right source, but make sure you select 100%. Make sure you select 100%, not 50%. Split screen. Hold on. I think there was an option for 100%. No, that's fine. 50%, that's okay. Leave it there at 50%. So here you see that you have everything set to high quality 3840 by 2040 and uh, you have left to right 50% so you know you're getting a split screen all right so click OK now the only part that's left for you to do is you come down here and select your files where do you want to save it uh, on the external hard drive on a D on a C uh, whatever you choose to do make sure you select uh, hard drive that you 
have an extra space and then make a new folder and call it whatever I'm calling mine Blu-rays collection you can call it Higgy Jiggy it doesn't really matter what you call it just make sure you are that you are exporting this MKV 3D file H.265 uh, onto your hard drive and once you're done with that just come here and click start it's right over here click start okay and continue you see it says right here 3d mkv 4k h265 so what i'm doing here basically i am actually converting 3d to 4k so i'm going to have a high resolution now on my 3d so when i'm watching this 3d split screen it's going to look super super great upscaled to 4k on the imax 3d so when I'm watching it, it's going to look a hell of a lot better. And after it's finished, this will take a long time. This will take two hours and, and, and 27 minutes. Why? Because it's a large file. It's going to take about 20 gigs to do so. But guess what? When I put on my PlayStation VR headset, I'm going to have an amazing 3D experience on my big screen VR application okay so this is how you rip your blu-ray 3d imax 3d now the reason this one it's it's a bit higher because it uses the imax 3d imax 3d you know has a much higher ratio and, and pixels so you have to you know use the 3d 4k but you can still Here's the great thing about the DVD Fab uh, software. You can actually upscale to 4K. You can convert to 4K your existing 3D movies to 4K if you have a big hard drive to do so. Uh, and you can enjoy watching the 3D in a very nice resolution. Okay, so there you have it. So I apologize about my previous video. Remember, it has to be the MKV file. Don't use the MP4. MP4, it's something if you want to save your hard drive space and you just want to put it on your phone, on your tablet, or on your little uh, laptop screen. But if you want to go for the 3D, choose the MKV. If you want to go for a 4K, choose the MKV, MKV file. Okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's it. That's all you have to do. And when this is finished, it's over. Then you're good to go. I hope this helps. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, please do ask. I might have to do a live stream on this so I can explain it to you guys. Because I can see that some of you are confused. And I understand there's a confusion here. I understand uh, you don't understand why you have to do it like this. So maybe it's better if I do a live stream so I can answer some of these questions for you guys and explain to you why you need to do it this way. Okay? There you have it.